Hi there and welcome back to the FFS podcast. This is episode number 5 of the E2E series. Now we normally do and I like I said we the series we normally watch along or and react to games that happen during the midweek so Champions League, men women, uh, you know international tournaments that happen during midweek, all of that kind of stuff. But given that we've got a final already um I think this has been a delayed final but given that we have a final and it just so happened it had to happen on a weekend of course so I've decided to react to a weekend fixture which we normally just do a review but because it's a final it's an all important final two huge teams we had to do a watch along for this so thank you for joining us and as you can see we've got Unnati who is all decked up in her Arsenal Jersey already for oh by the way if you don't know what we're reacting to of course it is the all important FA Cup final between uh, Chelsea women and Arsenal women or Arsenal women and Chelsea women it, I don't think home really matters here because it's been played in Wembley huge ground huge occasion so in the all how's how's the atmosphere how how excited are you um really excited uh, i think in the morning i was you know really calm not thinking about it as the day progressed uh, yeah it's it's all kicking in and now it's like some other level right now shitten in my pants <laughs> <laughs> yeah i i'm pretty sure i think this is one of the most exciting i suppose i apart from the champions league final which the women have um i'm i'm taking in club competition for you guys this must be like the second best sort of uh at not a uh, second best event or the second most important event the fa cup more than the conti cup i suppose i uh, to be honest this is like one of the huge events like even mm-hmm. before the like you know this would be first and then the champions league would come second because because there's a reason we already have 14 fa cups more than anybody ever so yeah you know this is this is very important and this is like you know getting all that uh you know history and recreating history now so that's why this is this is huge this, of course. this, this I, is not like the so usual how, how, okay the fact that like i mentioned at the start this is bit, this was delayed this was supposed to be 2020 final um and yeah. i think it was supposed to be earlier this year but of course with the pandemic and everything it's kind of been postponed to end of this year does did that sort of um you know in any way, of course but you didn't know until recently you only played the fa cup again in this year right it was in that you were waiting for so long um but the fact that you are now you finally have this opportunity to play this how much more exciting is that and especially again it's a derby of all things uh so last time like you know uh last year we didn't have any clue as such like when this is going to be played and you know the dates were not really fixed and everything so it was all kind of uh, what do you say a prediction that oh you know this might happen or tentative dates and stuff like that so now this like you know i i think uh, this this you know this game couldn't have been any better because yeah. of how you know we are in london okay firstly we are in london we are at wembley it's a london derby okay so i i don't think it could have, it could have gotten any better than this so tell me one thing so had it i i suppose you're also relieved that it's now because the form that you guys are in i mean the team is in right now as compared to last year where you were suffering with a lot of injuries you know had the games been there final wasn't guaranteed so you must be relieved that it's i mean you come at a perfect time for you um sort of not necessarily uh we've uh, not kind of gotten over the injuries just yet we yeah. recently had lea williamson injured tobin heath is not playing as well yeah. she's also currently out so yeah so i got away back I mean, to america <laughs> no <laughs> uh but uh, yeah i mean it it couldn't have been a better time but uh, yeah i think uh, had we avoided the injuries we would have been happier because lia is such a integral part of the team uh, at the back you know she's very commanding and you know we we are surely going to miss her because she is like you know a a complete arsenal person and for her to be missing a game 
like this, the FA Cup yeah. final at Wembley. Yeah, it's, it's against it's Chelsea. I mean, yeah, it's, against it's Chelsea. Yeah. yeah, it's something. So yeah, I mean, Wembley looks pretty lit. It's of course not full as we'd like it to be, but it's I mean, still pretty forty thousand tickets. Like it's, it's that was not, a huge thing. Yeah, that that's actually some almost like capacity more than capacity of some of the Premier League stadiums as well. So that's. I mean, uh, who said? Uh, Women's football isn't worth watching. I mean, all these people, as we disagree. Yeah. I mean, there are so many of us who would probably want to be there today, and we can't. Of course. Of so course. you know, it would be more than those. Uh, I think even Wembley wouldn't be enough for most of us. Yeah, yeah. If of all course. of us gathered. If of all, yeah, yeah. Of course. All right. So the team sheets out. Uh, so what's the? How do you see it? Be how? How do you see it set up against Chelsea? um i'll tell you something uh, this is i think the most preferred lineup we we've thought of and uh, yeah i think it's it's good on yonas's part because uh, if i don't know if how many people actually read uh, tim stillman's blog uh, not me <laughs> actually yeah and uh, he actually ended up uh, putting out the exact same uh, you know team sheets like a predicted okay. lineup and this was the exact same one um we have a uh, meet meetma and uh, kt mukhe in the front leading the line yeah it's 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 going to be good and so no, uh, it's, it's actually no she's Chelsea? on the bench i am very surprised by uh, emma hay starting uh, jessie fleming but mm. uh, yeah i mean you know th- okay so i'll tell you what this is this is my dilemma okay i love all these players and jessy fleming is one of them and i've been screaming about the fact that you know emma hayes is not you know letting her play and then the one game where i didn't want her she is right there like she heard you why yeah, yeah <laughs> uh, at the wrong moment for sure yeah so how do you see this game go obviously we are at the kick off but uh, let's let's probably discuss that in a bit so uh, i guess that's a great preview to what's happening and yeah i guess we're going to react to what's going to happen over the next 90 to 120 to how many ever minutes penalty takes if at all it gets to that stage but If, we are here if that and, yeah. if, if that happens i'm telling you this uh, yeah i i as it is i'm telling you i think people would want to lower their volumes because if we are scoring yeah i am screaming <laughs> either which way i am screaming yeah. because that's happening right. for sure <laughs> okay great so you can catch obviously our reactions now to the game which is just begun uh yes yeah, so how do you see this game go and what what's i do you have any predictions for this game in terms of a score <laughs> uh not the score but uh, at least uh, in terms of the game i can tell you it's going to be a goals galore like for sure uh, nobody is going to have a, a a clean sheet that's that's for sure uh but uh, again you know if if you see both both the teams are such that you know the defenses are a little weak and the attacking power is high so that's why i keep saying goals galore uh yeah. so you know it's ultimately going to be who's attacking power comes out to be I I I feel like there will be nerves nerves in this oh okay yeah. like nerves will definitely play a huge part in this game yeah i mean uh yeah uh, it's it's definitely going to play a part uh but uh, yesterday apparently there were a few interviews where uh i think kim little said that you know they are not worried as such because they've played against chelsea before and again they've played against them at wembley before uh yeah i mean ultimately i feel like the team with the most composure even mm. with whatever's happening uh might see, oh, see the game wow. out oh no <laughs> oh shit oh wow. my god wow. oh my god no yeah we're talking about defenses <laughs> Oh that was I, that was I, bad that yeah. was bad that was I don't even think I saw where we went wrong but I told you goals galore and this is not a good start Frank Kirby oh with God. the first goal Frank Kirby with the gloves on with the first goal uh, I, I mean, mean obviously she, it was a uh, I'm I'm going to probably make a very uh, dramatic uh, statement or a controversial yeah. statement but she just showed why she should have been uh, third probably 
at the Ballon d'Or event instead of you know who? <laughs> uh, yeah, that oh was my God. defensively that symbolic. Was, that was I don't know. terrible that? clearance. Like, what the heck, man? Who's 16? Who's the one who passed it? He passed it just she, beautiful assist, though, to uh, Frank Kirby by the Arsenal defence. But who's number 16 for you? Uh, Noel Maritz. Uh, yeah. She she was uh, we got it from Wolfsburg. Uh, was yeah. it Wolfsburg? Yeah, I think so. But yeah, it I, kind of rebounded off her, but she also kind of just laid it on perfectly for Frank Kirby to take it. Uh, and we're off. Yeah, this we're is... off. It's third the third minute. <laughs> oh, this is going I, to I, be. <laughs> this is going to be a long match. I told you, it's it's going so to be the, a long match. So the one thing I have to tell you is normally the watch longs that we do. The games are haven't been that exciting, so I'm hoping they've been the number of games that have been exciting that we've done watch longs for versus the games that have been quite a dull affair. Been quite. Disproportionate, uh, I, I, but... I I I can I can tell you one thing. This is not going to be dull at all. Yeah, I mean, look hopefully. at it. What we are in in the in the fourth minute right now. Sorry, fifth minute right now, and it's what already. Oh goal. wow! Oh, this is brilliant. We've already got in four minutes. We've got. A goal and what an injury! <laughs> like you do. Oh no! Oh my God! That, I, that are you? Bad. That was bad. I thought it was a foul. Did she actually get the ball there? Yeah, she she did. Yeah. Wow. Well, okay, that's a good tackle then. Wow. Actually, that was a good tackle. It didn't seem I mean, like it. I mean, that's that's Jen B to you. Yeah, she's yeah. she's she's good. But I I feel like uh yeah like the revenge match against the uh, for that first game. Oh. <laughs> Do not tell me it's another goal. I am gonna hate you. What a save! I mean, an insane save. Manu, I have never loved you more. Oh, that is... Okay, this is feisty. This is crazy. I mean, Chelsea definitely are the attacking team here. But Arsenal aren't making it easy. They It's been very, very easy for them. Oh, it's just... I mean, it's a terrible see, finish. See, I'll by... tell you what. This is, this is exactly the reason why uh, I... Another controversial statement from me. Mm. Uh, this is exactly the reason why... Uh, at the Ballon d'Or, when I I saw that list, I was like, dude, just what are you doing with that list? Like, what? Yeah. Because yeah, if, 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 if you go to see, I would I would rather have Fran Kirby on the top than Sam Kirby. Like, goals are not everything, right? Yeah, no, I, I, I get so that's, it. That's what I, I think. It. Yeah, I think, like, Fran Kirby's not probably got the recognition that she needs to get. Yeah, I mean, sh- she's she's done brilliantly well. She, um, I, I still yeah. think that for the national team, she still hasn't found the, or rather, the coach Sarina Wigman has not found the right uh, position for her yet, mm-hmm. because she's she she's not utilizing her in the natural position Frank Kirby plays in. Yeah, I'm 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 actually currently happy there's no Chelsea fan here. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, this is obviously going to be so biased towards Arsenal, but it's fine. It doesn't uh, really matter. I mean, it's better. I think if I had not had either of you, then it would have just been quite bad because I'm pretty sure I wouldn't have any sort of insights into this game. Um, but yeah, okay. I mean, I think Arsenal just need to find start finding their feet here a bit. I, I I'll tell you I'll tell you one thing. Uh, this is this has been an art issue since the very beginning. I was actually uh, sort of analyzing a few games as well, uh, like the start of the league as well. I was I was watching the game against Chelsea and then I was watching the game against Barcelona again. Mm. Uh, and I saw that you know we make quite a lot of defensive errors. Like there's <laughs> there's a lot of defensive errors that we make. And yeah, I mean, for some reason we are we are back to no. I I think like you know sometimes uh, because we have been you know scoring against opponents like four five goals, mm. we we sort of lose out on the fact that you know we still need to strengthen our defense a bit more. Yeah, this is not 
uh, yeah this i mean if this is how we are going to play today uh, the game is, no the game against uh, barcelona on thursday is going to be oh yeah you do have okay yeah, yeah, yeah. but is, is the group done oh! from, oh. is the group Pardon? done from the uwcl is like your i mean uh, no, i know no almost, no no so uh two more games remaining so we have uh, arsenal versus barcelona on thursday and then i think we have a game against okay hoffenheim or okay i'll check I it out um yeah hoffenheim yeah 16. yeah it's against hoffenheim yeah so okay. those two games are still so you're kind of through almost you're like not, i mean i So yeah i suppose you guess not depends. not no not exactly uh we would at uh, we would have to oh yeah you have to uh, get a result from hoffenheim at hoffenheim least. Uh, yeah at yeah. least uh otherwise we are not going to go get through yeah, yeah. i mean okay. which i i'm guessing we might uh yeah but then uh whatever comes ahead of that is going to be another <laughs> another thing in itself yeah. Yeah, come on, hey, man. Okay, okay. Oh, dude, no, you got in your way. Oh, yes. Oh my! Right. How? That actually could have come out well, but I think someone who uh, who's fifteen. I think she came in. Yeah, no, that's too difficult to pass back. See, I'll 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 tell you something like this. This whole uh, situation with you know almost speed and everything. I was just watching the Barcelona game yesterday against Athletic Club, and you know the first mm-hmm. half, it was ac- absolutely like you know it felt like okay, this is not Barcelona, and then you know they come out in the second half, and then you know all the speed and everything just comes back, and then the game goes through beautifully. We probably need that speed, and you know it just kind of shows you that okay, you know you can maybe. get close mm. to beating barcelona yeah but the thing with barcelona is like they have had like a long standing philosophy for quite a while <laughs> it's no i i i'll tell you what i love about that team is the fact that you know it's it's like they this is what everyone thinks they probably have like five eyes like you know sideways front back like they, yeah. they they know exactly where the player is the entire freaking time yeah i mean the manage the game reading is on a different planet and that's when barcelona gets it right of course for the men's team they can't they don't even it looks like they don't have any eyes they gave lent all their eyes to the women's uh, team I, i'll tell you something yesterday uh, so Pedri and uh, Alexia were both that count now uh, oh, for okay. the game against uh, Real Betis, and mm. uh, <laughs> so they were. Uh, th- there was this whole. Oh no! Mighty oh challenge. no! Oh uh, yeah, McKay versus uh, Kadbot as usual. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, I mean, that has to happen. Yeah. So you were saying so. If were... that doesn't happen, it's it's not an Arsenal game. Yeah, so they say the, both of them, along with uh, the entire women's team, were uh, at uh, camp now yesterday. Mm. Ooh, and uh, so after the entire uh, presentation of you know Alexia raising her trophy to the entire oh, Jesus, oh my God, is okay, that another offside, goal? Offside, offside, thank God. But like and she saved it. I mean, it's an insane save. Like oh, your keeper is just trying to. You know what? I'll tell you. Manu's confidence from last season to this season has been nice. insane. Had you know, had she been under Joe and you know doing, hmm. you know, uh, goalkeeping right now? Yeah, that would have probably been a second goal already, or probably a third because she had a save before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but this one. I don't know if VAR is there, is but that. Our defense is in pieces, my yeah. guy. <laughs> but oh, that is bad. Is that? Oh my God, is that a pen, bro? No. And your keeper is just on point. That's a bad tackle. Oh my God, Zinzi, I love you. Uh, is quite a rash sort of challenge to be made, but oh, that was that could have been terrible. 
I'm just seeing here. Like, who, who made the challenge? I'm oh no, she got sure the she Jen. got the. No, she yeah, got the uh, pen. No, no, no. She got the ball. She got the ball. I think she got the ball. This angle doesn't yeah. look like it, but uh, she did get the. She did get. Yeah, she got it. the ball. She got the ball. But it's it's a. Uh, I mean, it's risky. <laughs> it's not. It, it's I, quite the risky. Uh, where would we be? Where would we currently be without Jen? But right now, your goalkeeper is the one to be thankful for. Yeah, she's. I mean, she's currently the hero. I mean. Okay. If know. this goes to penalties, I mean, currently I would just like for us to score a goal, but uh, get our feet together. Actually, that's the first thing I want. <sighs> String a few passes together, calm it down. This this okay. gives me flashback to the last season, and I'm, I'm not kidding. So, did you book your tickets for the Euro? I, they'd already announced it, right? Yeah, you did. Which would which games did you get? Uh, fifteen games. <laughs> okay. Wow. Uh, so did you book I, all fifteen? Or yeah, I booked yeah, all of okay. them. Okay. So, uh, I took the Netherlands group games. Mm. I got. Where are you hitting? Okay. Uh. I got the Netherlands group games, and I'm kind of questioning myself right now, given their current form. Uh, I got the Spain group games. All three of them, I had okay. to. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I have uh, the first uh, opening ton- the opening game, England okay. versus Austria, and I have uh, England versus Norway. So these are the group games that I have. Then okay. uh, I absolutely have everything after that. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. So all four quarterfinals, both the semis and the finals. So yeah. yeah, next year I'm gonna be sitting there at Wembley. Nice. Yeah, I like I applied for it. I got two games, but I haven't booked it. Uh, don't think I'll I'll be able to go for that. So, uh, I got the Netherlands, Sweden, and Germany, Spain one. Oh yeah, the, uh, those two. Uh, I mean, at least the Germany Spain game is yeah. It's it's it's. I mean, we spoke about this last time, but yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. it's 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 gonna be a good game. Uh, I I don't know so much about the Netherlands versus Sweden game because uh, yeah, the current form Netherlands is in is question. True, but the but the atmosphere is just gonna be electric no matter what. I mean, the Dutch fans, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's what. Oh. Oh my God! Your keeper needs like a Ballon d'Or just for this, or Yashin Trophy just for this. Yeah, that was creeping oh. in. That was creeping in. Yeah, uh, Manu saving our asses right now. <laughs> yeah, just, just, just give the goddamn trophy to her already. Like she is currently saving our ass. And that's a difficult one because that dipped at the end. That dipped. Me- just to swear. She's making Leah Wally look so bad. Um, I mean, uh, Leah Leah Welty is actually called uh, Snake Hips. Like that's the name for her. And yeah, she's currently, I I I'm sorry, but you know this is this is not the team I I recognize. I understand that. I'll tell you something. They were currently just, uh, you know, I'll I'll get back to this story as well. Yeah, which yeah. Which yeah. is currently advertising about the game at Emirates on on Thursday, Arsenal versus Barcelona. I mean, dude, if this is how we're gonna play on Thursday, uh, God uh, bless you... my, God bless my soul, because uh, yeah, yeah. we're gonna go down like something like ten zero. Are you playing it at the Emirates? Like that. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. And Although, <laughs> also fans at the Emirates against Barcelona have not have had, they've not had the best of memories anyway. And, you know, I mean, I, I, I was someone who was actually kind of questioning that decision because I would have liked any other game probably at the Emirates instead of this Barcelona game because Barcelona thrives in the space and you know Boram Wood would have been perfect for this and here you are giving them more space at the Emirates. Oh, 
But what is that a foul or not? Because if not, that is a terrible blindness. That is a. See, <laughs> once again, I'm I'm mentioning this. This is why Sam Kerr shouldn't have been third. Okay, call me salty or whatever the hell you want. Okay, that wasn't a foul. That was definitely not going to be a foul. So she messed up big time. Yeah, she uh, messed up. I don't know how you missed that. I don't know how you missed that. I'm sorry. Once again, that's you up. don't, you can't, you can't be missing something like that. We are currently just running on luck and money. Yeah, exactly. Come on, pass it. Oh, you run so slow. Yeah. Whoa, ho, ho. Hello. What the hell was that? Upper. No, where are you heading it? You have all the time to head it. And then you head it where your player isn't there. Who are those people running there? Uh, I think weird. they're the... <laughs> uh, I think that's just the Chelsea players or some of the players are, I think, just warming up. For a second, I thought they were all wearing uh, like the Arabic <laughs> headdress. Yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm wondering where is... What's happening? Where, I was like... For a second, I think I was they like, are the... Where is it being played? <laughs> I think oh, that's the Arsenal players. Come on, come on, come on. You don't, don't. Pass it, pass it here. I'm screaming too, like, so many times. Like, I could have seen that. Make the run to pull back. No. Yes, finally. That's penalty. Isn't that handball? Did we get a penalty? I thought that could have been a handball. Yes. Go take the shot. Oh my! I'm I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but your passing is irritating me as well. Yeah, it's it's irritating me as well right now. Ah, uh, that's not that can't be a penalty. That's I mean she's sliding, so it, it hit the hand, but sliding. I it's not like her hand. Yeah, no, it's it's not a handball. No. Not a handball. But you stop. The fact is that they stop play there. Like look, look at me, and they were like appealing. Like go and. You had the ball there, and she was on the ground. Just take the ball away, and get the goal. No, I'll tell you this. This was this was a problem last season as well, where we were playing against City, Manchester City, and who's that? Uh, what is? Oh my God! Who's that? That's Katie McCabe. You Katie McCabe, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, but that was hilarious. Just <laughs> he swiped at air and fell. The last time, last season, we were playing this. Uh, I think it was at the Academy Stadium. I guess uh, we were playing City, and there was this. Uh, I think it was Dan, mm. and uh, she. I think. Where is she now? Thumb, she's at Leon now. Ah, Leon, right. So she, I think, uh, had fouled Sam Mewis or someone fouled her or it was offside or something like that. And she thought it was, okay. And they all stopped the game and they were, they went appealing for it. And then Sam Mewis just went ahead and scored the goal. And everyone was like, why can't you stop the play when, you know, you hear the whistle? Till exactly. then, just keep going. <laughs> You play, it's all, it's rule one of football. You play until the whistle is blown. So, like, oh man, that's, that's like football 101. That you can't really be, wow, why that is terrible. Who was that? You know, that's that's another funny thing, you know, just, just, just reminds me of another funny story. Wow, that's a, that's a shambolic first half. Hold on, yeah, yeah, hold on. So, we, we, that's the end of the first half. As you know, it, I mean, the first half ends. Arsenal 0, Chelsea 1, curtsy, an early, early Frank Kirby goal. And yeah, I guess... Assist, so, uh, assisted by, by <laughs> Frida Manum. Yeah. So, I, I, what's, what's, the, what's the mood like now in first half? I can see your face there. But <laughs> uh, frustrating. I mean, you know it. You were frustrated for God's sake. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, lots of changes need to be made. I feel like get uh, 
lot of open moy out of there get freedom manum out of there uh, i uh, it makes me think who can we even put on on their behalf i mean uh, you can put manum instead of uh, sorry you can put i would change from manum but uh, who can we uh, uh, yeah there's no one ready on the back we can i mean you can uh, like you know replace lot of open moy with nana patan but nana patan is not a known cb so Simon Boy has just come back from injury, so don't see that happening either. Snada back again, came back from injury. Don't see that happening either. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, uh, we can change uh, midfield and the front three, but yeah, the back is going to change. Right. unless we bring in uh, we unless we decide to uh, remove noel marits and instead replace her with anna patton that could that could be a good change because then that way uh, at least we can tell woven white to not try to move ahead and just keep the back line secured uh, yeah. yeah we need iva bucci i i i am telling you this 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 does not change i we need to bring on iva bucci immediately do not remove him little because she's she's currently possibly the only player who's trying to you know keep that midfield together yeah yeah uh, i i i guess but yeah, yeah this I... is this is peace <laughs> is not Anyway, well, we we're going to see what's ha- going to happen in the second half. Um, but yeah, the first half frustrating. It's going to be interesting to see. I I think yeah, I think the player of the match has definitely been uh, your goalie, Mrs. Zinsberger. Manuela Zinsberger. Yeah, so she's she's been the player of the game so far, and she's the one that's conceded the game, uh, conceded the goal. So, well. I mean, I doubt she could have done much with that, but yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a really, really interesting game. Yeah, interesting second half, like you kind of hope for it. The game's still open, and the more it remains one zero, the more Arsenal, I suppose, would have a belief that they could just snatch one they right can. at the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So for Chelsea, it's all about mm. getting that second goal. For Arsenal, it's all about trying to get that first goal and get that equalizer but at the same time if they can't keep it at 1-0 and as much as possible and try and mm. nick one at the last minute or so but yeah as it stands it's chelsea one arsenal zero and we'll catch you all in the second half you know sam ka just uh, i don't know about i don't know how many have watched it uh after alexia won the ballon d'or uh yani her mosho had uh, she was on live on instagram okay and uh, they were, like the whole uh, thing was they were at the airport going back and mm. she she was on she was oh live i saw on that the the one where the by the baggage uh, the scanning thing <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. So after that, after a point, like uh, when they were in, inside the chartered plane, and <laughs> uh, <laughs> so Alexia uh, beside her, she tells that uh, who are the top three, right? So she was telling Yeni that uh, Yeni was second and Sam Kerr was third. Yeni's face when <laughs> Alexia said Sam Kerr was third. I'll 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 send you the video. It was like, yeah. Yeah. yeah send- because uh, it it reminds me of how there was another live uh, when they'd won the champions league and uh, all of them were screaming and this is competitive oh that yeah <laughs> uh, that i know <laughs> that that context i can just, I, i can understand yeah yeah and that's why you should see yeni's face it looks huge <laughs> like what is why this? did she, why did she post that in the first place to samka Uh, so in 2019, uh, Barcelona was playing a final against Lyon. Oh, and Lyon crashed. Yeah, and Lyon uh, scored four zero. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and... right. Okay. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, 
Come on, pass. Oh, where are you passing it? Where are you passing it? No. Oh. Who's this one? Who's this one? Why is it too? Oh, boy. Get to it first. So slow. There we go. Goal number two. Sam Kerr finally gets after all the talk about Sam Kerr. That's the, that's the worst shot that she's had. And the worst shot of us was in can yeah I can I just switch this game off already pain man pain I am seriously questioning what Jonas is doing right now like why is he not making can you just see how slow Lotta is and she's looking behind, like, what are you doing? Like, why are you looking behind, man? That is... That is terrible defending. How, like, sh okay, please tell me, was Lotta even defending there? I don't know what you were doing, but clearly... <laughs> clearly not defending and clearly not playing. Barca is not going to come for you if you're going to have touches like that. No, but the good thing about Caitlin Ford coming on is is the fact that she and Viv can actually change uh, roles very quickly. So, okay, uh, Kate, uh, Caitlin yeah. can, yeah, uh, no, her and me as well. So they can they can change sides quickly, or otherwise. Caitlin actually can, you know, end up becoming a striker as well. She she she's been on that role a couple of times and she's done well. You have twenty minutes. Like at least get one goal. Oh, one. <laughs> is that a third? Made the post. Yeah, God bless the post. Uh, save. I mean, <laughs> what could have, that would have been an insane Kirby goal, though. Even perfect. Manuel didn't even move. It was almost as if she was like, oh, you know, this is going to be a goal. <laughs> yes, she's like, yeah, screw it. What screw else it. Going to do? No, but you could see like how angry she was in the first half because she had to make so many saves and yeah. it was constantly just her making the saves. Yeah. Oh, so Meads now on the right hand. Was she right? Yeah, she was. No, she was earlier on the right as well. Hmm. Mirama looks done. She's like, screw this shit. No, but then I feel like she's also been fairly absent the entire game. Yeah, yeah, of course. I mean, the fact that she's fine, you, you've you not given her enough service. But the fact that when she's had the ball, a couple of her touches have been awful. Like, really, really awful. Just, I mean, at, at, at this point, I'm like, okay, you know what? Like, I don't know if you can see it from my face. I'm just completely done with this game. I can. <sighs> hey, is it, like, the, the fact that this is not even exciting, like, all the hype around this game is so good. Like, you know, like, oh, you know, it's, Arsenal versus Chelsea and everything. But <laughs> a third? No, no, no. But the way I swear your defense can't defend, defenders can't defend at all. I don't know how you let uh, Pernilla. I don't know how Wuben Moy is still on this pitch. I don't know how you let her. I, I seriously I... don't know. I seriously, I'm like. No, but then that's the question, right? Who do you who do you actually replace? I her don't with? know, but you you don't. But I don't know. Like you do somehow. You I I re I really feel like anybody at this point is going to be better than her in defense. Right? Yeah, exactly. Anybody. Like, <laughs> would, I I, I seriously feel like he should have removed her and gotten in Wally at at CB. Put knobs in. Put um. Well, wealthy. You could put. In defense, do something, but you oh my god, she has like no stamina. Like, I'm sorry, she's no, slow. She's not, she's not quick. Okay, she's slow. yeah, she's slow. 
she's slow decision making is awful like I'll, like see i don't blame her per se but again like th- this is this is you're fighting for the big honors you're fighting for the big honors this is not she's yeah not good and, enough you're you're not you can't and this is this is not a game where you know it's just about losing three points or something you're playing a yeah. final yeah this is a trophy this is a big occasion if you're not good enough you're not good and i'm sorry what like like, like, like Uh, this reminds me of that one tweet mm. yesterday some chelsea fan made like how uh, arsenal has uh, you know gotten 14 cups and all of them <laughs> are like, you know another uh, who is that oh my god samco with <laughs> the second oh this is her best this was her best one person uh, absolutely hates fours like, like twice yeah yeah like just just yeah I don't even feel like I feel like you know muting all the Arsenal and Chelsea fans right now. It just 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 mute everybody. Like like what is this? <sighs> Can I just go quickly remove my shirt? Yeah. <laughs> I I wouldn't blame you to be honest. I mean. It, it, it is. It is. I, I'm sorry, but like I, this is all on Jonas's lack of making any sort of decision. Like, like, okay, like, please explain to me. Like, Chelsea has not been great. Okay, they've been, they've been fine. They haven't played really well. Look at the face she's making. You know, this is exactly why I hate her. <laughs> 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 no but that, that's what i'm saying like like the, the lack of performance just just tells me like this is not the like you know not the team that played against chelsea at the beginning of this the season this is not the team yeah yeah i can understand 3-0 to chelsea and hmm that is some revenge from that game actually that is that is some revenge so it, it like it like stop i mean yeah from 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 an advertisement perspective uh, <laughs> buy your tickets at arsenal.com sounds good but <laughs> if you're going there as a as a barcelona fan good yeah <laughs> so I, mean, but, i think with this with this throw it might be done we done and, and throw and done congratulations to chelsea club of the yeah. year is out insane um all right let's get your quick thoughts on this so we spoke first half we speak the second half and your thoughts on everything that happened uh can i get a quick second oh my god okay uh yeah thoughts this is not arsenal this is clearly i mean we couldn't string two passes together like how am i supposed to even speak about the rest of the game <sighs> okay uh final thoughts on this game it was like the way we played was absolutely shit you can say what i i i don't understand like what was the defense like what were we doing <laughs> in the back okay uh the the the, def- the defense was bad midfield decisions were questionable and nothing was happening in like you know in in the final third there was nothing happening absolutely okay. nothing and when i yeah. say nothing i mean nothing was happening i don't even think we had one clear cut chance in any of it yeah i can't think of it <laughs> it it's it's that's what i'm saying like it's it's questionable like you know for certain people you could say that you know we had like some chances maybe like you know where could have 
we could have gotten it in but technically there were no clear cut chances for us like we did not create a single clear cut chance like where we could say oh you know like this is where we should have been clinical and you know it could have gone in maybe mm-hmm. one or max two yeah yeah i yeah i i get i get what you're saying i think in terms of just basic football was lacking i mean there's a huge gulf in class and i didn't think that there would be something like this but there was a huge gulf in class you know tactical genius uh, tactical play and just everything chelsea just seemed a lot more in tune than arsenal were and yeah it it was it was kind of frustrating it was so, at the end i'm just tired you know that even as a non arsenal fan i'm just tired because you the amount of effort that they kind of put in but it just led to nothing and it just felt like you didn't need to at the, end, at the same time um, i think substitutions were questionable uh, i am i'm actually questioning Jonas's tactics at this point because please tell me why were we still playing from the back the entire time like i i didn't understand like like see you know we we've, we've done all these uh, games in the past like you know with with joe and you know we've seen that with chelsea and their high press playing from the back does not work yeah. okay yeah. there a big if i don't know if you if you watched the last season uh, there was this you know the one home game where we had with Ch- with chelsea and you know we decided to change our tactics and we were not playing really from the back that was the like you know that was the only game where we we you know surprisingly ended up drawing it like 1-1 but you know that was the one game where you know you, you could actually see that you know playing not playing from the back actually works in our favor so i like you know we've had so many examples of where we've seen that you know playing from the back against a high press team isn't working then why go with that i suppose here in this kind of game your midfield may not be the best sort of place to go to attack for the attacking part because i felt like fine from a defense to midfield that was there but the midfield kept losing the ball out and then you put the defense in trouble so and the few chances that arsenal probably had were defense straight away bypassing midfield and going to your forward three and i felt like that may show that maybe your defense your midfield was in great that's fine but your midfield would be more important when you didn't have the ball right so this was a game where i felt like bypass the midfield because chelsea's midfield were probably better equipped to handle the press and better they they i think pressed the hell out of your midfield so bypass their midfield get straight to chelsea's defense by getting to your forwards and then if you lost in the forwards then have your midfield come in and try and press it high up but of course there's no pressing in in the first place at all uh the midfield actually kind of felt non existent for for me especially because yeah. you know it it felt like you know the midfield was actually uh, kind of you know uh, playing like a winger of sorts you know all of them because practically there was nobody in the middle you know defending the yeah. ball because yeah. usually like whenever we play a 433 that's how we usually do it and you know w- Leah Velti is actually, you know, that she plays as a CDM, and you know she kind of makes sure that the ball doesn't go back in defense, putting less pressure to the for the defense, you know. But yeah. this time, you know, even you could see, like, you know, she was having a bad game yeah. because she was absolutely, you know, towards the right side. I I was questioning, like, why is she playing at the right? Yeah, I mean, for Chelsea, it was just open. Day. I mean, they just had an open ground in the midfield. And that's where it all happened right like you give the ball in midfield and you had loopholes and everyone just enjoying their time where they had free space and all exactly. you had to and do is just run yeah, a little that's bit that's why that's why i've been mentioning it from like you know ever since uh, half time that this doesn't seem like a final because a final game is not 3-0 a final game has to be something like at least a 3-1 or a 3-2 
Yeah. Or even a three three and then go off to extra time and penalties, whatever. But this this feels like you know a normal WSL game that we've been playing because, it, or not even a WSL game. You can you can just say that you know this was some training session they were having. Yeah. It's an exhibition sort of game because even for a WSL, I mean this Arsenal team didn't seem to be putting up too much of a fight. There, it felt like Chelsea were playing someone who was right now in the WSL, probably in the lower half of the table. And, yeah, yeah I, just... I mean, I feel like at this point, like I am, I'm thinking about the fact, like how did we even beat teams like Brighton and you know all these other teams? Like I think even even Spurs would have done better than us in this game. <laughs> that's saying a lot. That's saying, like I, <laughs> that's saying something. I know people are gonna come at me for that, but uh, yeah, I mean the way they played us, like you know, and our decisions again in that game and then in this game. Mm-hmm. You feel like they would have prob- probably done better, or even Brighton, for the fact, could have done well, you know, in this game. Yeah, yeah. No, I I agree with you there, but unfortunately, that's the that's the result. It ends. Uh, it ended three zero to Chelsea, and they lift just, the just, FA just, Cup. Just yeah, just hoping at this point that uh, Thursday is not a ten <laughs> zero. <laughs> yeah, that that'd be a fun game to watch. It, I'm. I don't know. Let's see. I think this didn't end up goals galore, but we did have a few goals. Uh, I, I think had Sam Kerr been... That's going to be... No, I'll tell you what. That's going to be a goals galore now. Not, not this yeah. one. Like, <laughs> yeah. like, like, like I'm, I'm trying to forget this game already. Now I'm going to be like, okay, that's going to be a goals galore. And now, yeah, like Arsenal fans come at me. I'm going to say this. If this is how we're going to play, Alexia is going to score a hat-trick against us. <laughs> In five minutes. Or In less. five minutes. Yeah. <laughs> right. Awesome. But yeah, uh, commiserations to any Arsenal fan watching this particular highlight. It won't be an easy highlight to watch this, definitely. But yeah, uh, I mean, congratulations to Chelsea. They're definitely proving why they are the best club in the world, in a way. Uh, I think Barcelona would definitely love to... Club in the world? That's that's a wrong love- Club in the WSL is the a club better. in the w- yeah club. yeah I think I think the the fact that they got the club of the year award was because both the men's and women's team did well but uh, definitely the women's side is definitely the best right now Probably in the some country consolation prize <laughs> yeah they definitely got the best uh, they're definitely the best right now in the WSL uh, and it's going to be interesting to see what happens with them but thank you Anati for. Hanging on here for the next for the past two hours. I know it would have been frustrating. You would have wanted to throw something at the TV, wanted to quit this call and say, enough, I'm not gonna watch it. But thank you for hanging on there and uh, staying with us for that two hours. Obviously, if you're watching this, you're watching the edited highlights, so it won't be a two hours uh, painful experience for any Arsenal fan here. But yeah, you'll definitely feel the hurt, the frustration. The, uh, even in the in those edits. So thank you, Unity, and can't I like I said, can't wait to host you. I don't want to probably do a Barcelona one because that's gonna really be quite difficult on you. But hopefully we can do something. Uh, no, Barcelona... it won't be difficult on me because I'll be wearing the Barcelona shirt and not the Arsenal one. <laughs> yeah. No, but I I'm hoping we can do something. Hopefully, hopefully once you get past uh, the group stages, we can either look at the draw, we can react to the draw, and also the future matches but yeah like like i said thanks for coming on here and can't wait to host you soon yeah i i always like i've said before i always enjoy talking football here <laughs> yeah. i mean like i said i i i should have been technically talking arsenal more but i think more than that i've spoken about chelsea and i've spoken and Barcelona. about Barcelona. <laughs> exactly uh, there's not much of positivity otherwise that would have been flowing around in this con- in our conversation but yeah, that's that's the way football is sometimes. But yeah, thank you to those of you who've been list, uh, watching this on YouTube, uh, this entire highlight reel and our reactions to the game. And if you did like this video, please do hit the like button. You can share, subscribe to the channel. Please do subscribe, get your friends involved, uh, get your friends to subscribe as well, family, friends, whoever's interested. And if they want to, if they're interested in doing similar such watch alongs, please do let me know either on Twitter or on Instagram. Uh, you can go check out our audio podcast, which will be on Spotify, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, or any other podcast platforms that we're in. Go check out our membership page where you can watch the video versions of our audio podcasts uh, for free, uh, not for free, but 
for obviously a small fee uh, and they've got different benefits as well. So all the links are in the description. Go check that out and I'll catch you all uh, next week or during whenever our next episode is, which I suppose would be sometime during this week with the Champions League. So thank you. That's about it for episode five. I'm your host, Brady, once again. You stay safe and see you.